In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Bambino cat. The Bambino is a controversial experimental new cat breed that is a cross between a hairless sphinx and the short-legged munchkin. The breed is so new that not too much is known about them as yet, but their development has been courted by a lot of controversies. Fans of these felines love them for their playful, energetic, and affectionate personalities. You may find these cats in shelters and breed-specific rescues, so remember to always adopt. Don't shop if you're looking to add one of these kitties to your home. The Bambino is a miniature cat, a type of feline sometimes called a dwarf breed. But despite their small size, this is one social and outgoing cat. In fact, you'll need to be able to lavish them with attention and playtime if you're going to get the best out of the breed. Naturally due to the cat's playful nature, they're great living in a house with kids. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Bambino cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Bambino Cat's History The first litter of Bambino kittens was officially registered in 2005 after Stephanie and Pat Osborne bred the hairless sphinx with the short-legged munchkin. The cat's name translates to baby in Italian, which pays homage to their small and kittenish size. As a comparatively new mixed cat breed, the Bambino's history is still being established. The Bambino was officially acknowledged as an experimental new breed by the International Cat Association in 2006. These days, you may find Bambinos in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the mixed breed for you. 2. Bambino Cat's Personality When it comes to summing up the Bambino's personality, the first thing you'll want to take note of is just how playful and even a little mischievous the mixed breed is. This is a cat who will happily spend as much time as possible playing with toys and exploring every nook and cranny of their environment. It's advised to make sure your home is big enough to satisfy the cat's playful instincts. Interactive toys should be left out and rotated on a regular basis, while at least one cat tree will be required to add variety to play sessions. Balancing out the Bambino's personality, the mixed breed's playful side is complemented by their affectionate nature. This is a kitty who very easily forms bonds with the humans in their lives, and loves to follow up a frantic playtime with a calm and leisurely snuggle session on the couch or bed. 3. Bambino Cat's Attributes As you have probably already guessed, a Bambino cat's most distinctive features are its short stature and hairless body. Although, it is worth mentioning that many hairless cats are indeed not completely bald. Instead, these kitties actually have very short, peach fuzz-like hair that covers their body. To the touch, this fuzz oftentimes feels like suede. Due to the fact that these cats are seemingly hairless, people often ask, are Bambino cats hypoallergenic? Contrary to what many may believe, even when hairless, Bambino's is not a hypoallergenic cat. However, Bambino's produce less dander than hairier cat breeds, which means that some individuals with mild cat allergies can tolerate being around these felines. These wrinkly cats are rather small and, on average, weigh between 5 to 9 pounds. That being said, it's not unusual for some to weigh more or less than the average. The typical lifespan for this breed is anywhere from 9 to 15 years. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 4. Bambino Cats Common Health Issues Overall, Bambinos are considered to be a fairly healthy breed. However, just because these cats typically have a clean bill of health, it's still recommended that they have annual visits to their veterinarian. In the instance that a health issue does arise, your veterinarian can hopefully catch the issue earlier on since they are actively monitoring your cat's health, and they are familiar and up-to-date with your feline's condition. When a health issue does arise in a Bambino, it oftentimes is a condition that has been passed down from the Sphinx or Munchkin's cat. The top conditions that are prevalent among this mixed breed are Skin conditions With a lack of hair and overly oily skin, most hairless cat breeds have an increased chance of developing bacterial skin conditions or infections. Lordosis This is a condition that can occur in any cat, but it has been shown to be more prevalent in the short-legged munchkin. It involves the spine excessively curving inwards, and this puts pressure on some of the vital organs. It can be fatal in some cases. Pectus excavatum This is another condition that has been shown to be more prevalent in munchkins, and it is where the breastbone caves in. Cats with this problem can have a guarded prognosis as it can severely impact their quality of life. It can cause a variety of issues including respiratory problems, loss of appetite, and weight loss. Because Bambinos are still a fairly new breed, not a large amount is known about possible long-term inherited diseases that can pass from generation to generation. 
That being said, there is much evidence that the common health problems of both the Sphinx and Munchkin have been inherited. Because of the deliberate breeding of these two cats, in spite of the risks that can occur in their genetic health, many people hold controversy with the Bambino breed. 5. Bambino Cats Grooming and Care Don't let the lack of fur trick you into thinking that Bambino cats don't need grooming. In fact, they typically require more grooming than the average cat. With most cats, their hair collects their natural oils, but since Bambinos do not have that amenity, their skin can become oily or dirty. In some extreme cases, these cats can even develop skin problems if they are not cleaned frequently enough. Although it can vary from cat to cat, most Bambinos will need regular bathing at least one bath a week. Some cat parents have found that if their cat needs to be cleaned more frequently, they can alternatively use wipes instead of having to give multiple baths every week. Before purchasing your cat cleaning products, be sure to talk with your veterinarian about recommended products. It is important not to use human shampoo or soap since that can often dry out your cat's skin. Similarly, it is important to buy specific wipes as well. Buying the wrong type of wipes can cause skin irritation, and wipes with scents can cause an upset stomach if your cat ingests any of the product residues. Besides skincare, your Bambino cat should also have their teeth cleaned on a weekly basis. Just like humans, it's essential to keep their pearly white sparkling clean and healthy. Your cat's ears should additionally be checked and cleaned regularly. Be sure to talk with your veterinarian about recommended ear cleaning products and how to properly clean the ears without causing any discomfort to your feline friend. Since Bambinos do not have a thick coat to cover their skin, it is key to be mindful of the weather. During the colder months, your cat may need a sweater to help keep them warm. And on sunny days, keep an eye that your kitty is not exposed to too much sunlight. Bambinos can get sunburned. Furthermore, because they do not have a thick coat to protect their skin, Bambinos are more prone to getting scrapes, bumps, or cuts. 6. Bambino Cats to Children and Other Pets The Bambino is a great fit if you have children, especially young ones. The mixed breed has a playful and loving nature that will see them forming close bonds with the kids in their life. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Bambino is usually okay living alongside other domestic animals. Although you'll want to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this mixed breed. Make sure to reward your Bambino for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.